Doesn't get any better than that. Another day on the job. I've been a chef all my life. I'm very passionate about what I do. There's never been chefs distilling. So I wanted to just do everything a chef would do that would look at something and go, wow, that flavor would be great in this. Let's, let's do it. Anything you can see blooming or fruiting up and down the Florida Keys will be in our rum. I'm making a rum that will not give you a hangover. You won't get a headache. I'm gonna take all those impurities out. My name is Paul Menta. Um, this is my distillery. Uh, it's also my dream. The visitors enter through the front doors and initially we want them to be a little overwhelmed. There's smells coming from the distillery of all sorts of history from Key West that they get to experience. Then they can experience having a taste of what we make here. This one, it's smelling really nice right now that I've made for you to try. This is my vanilla brulee. First and foremost, we're making a white rum. Anything that's dark goes in an aged oak barrel. Those barrels, we don't have fresh water in them to swell them up. I actually take ocean water, and it makes it true Key West. There will never be anything like this. And after they understand that taste, we put them to work. They bottle and label their own product. They fill it. We sign it for them. They sign it and date it, and they take a piece of Key West history home with them. First time in Florida history that people are actually legal rum runners. 